A uh, historic launch happening right here in the U.S. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and three other passengers lifted off into space for the first all civilian crew flight to space. This means there were no pilots on board. It was all controlled from the ground. The 11 minute flight sent them 62 miles above Earth, giving them about three to four minutes of weightlessness before bringing them back down. Bezos says he hopes this is just the beginning of more space exploration. It feels like, you know, this atmosphere is huge and we can disregard it and treat it poorly. When you get up there and you see it, you see how tiny it is and how fragile it is. We need to take all heavy industry, all polluting industry, and move it into space. It's a big frontier, and that's a big hat he had on. Neither Jeff Bezos nor his brother had any pilot or space training before launching above Earth. So this is making a lot of people wonder, does going into space make you an astronaut? Bill McGinty joining us now in the studio. Bill, there's some controversy around this. Yeah, there is, Fred. And on your note about the hat, you need a really big cowboy hat to be considered an astronaut, maybe. There's been a lot of debate over this about what makes Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson, should they be called astronauts? Are they actually astronauts? Let's verify. Our sources, NASA space historian Dr. Roger Launius and Dr. Eric Seedhouse, who teaches spaceflight operations at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. On NASA's website, it says the term astronaut derives from the Greek words meaning space sailor and refers to all that have been launched as crew members aboard NASA spacecraft bound for orbit and beyond. The term astronaut has been maintained as the title for those selected to join the NASA Corps of Astronauts who makes space sailing their career profession. The website also lists different levels of astronauts, depending on if you're actually eligible for a flight assignment. Technically, before you fly, you can be selected as a NASA astronaut, but you may not call yourself an astronaut until you uh, are assigned to a mission and get to fly. You are an astronaut candidate before that time. Back in the 1980s, NASA did develop a program to train non-career astronauts and send them to space. But NASA never had the chance to give them the official name because the program was paused after the explosion of Challenger back in January of 86. Fifteen years later, in 2001, billionaire Dennis Tito paid a reported $20 million for a ride on a Russian spaceship to the International Space Station. That opened up the door to space tourism, allowing people who didn't work at NASA to get into space. The other point of contention on calling Branson and Bezos astronauts, did any of them actually reach space? Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic flight reached 54 miles above the Earth, which is just past the 50-mile threshold that NASA and the FAA used to mark the start of space. However, the international organization that regulates space and keeps official records actually sets the start of space at 62 miles. Bezos and his team soared 66 miles up. There will always be an asterisk next to those flights if you get below 62 miles and still, and still try and call it space. We, we tend to you know, call anybody an astronaut who flies, uh, whether they're a tourist or not. I, I know a, a number of, of, of NASA astronauts who would claim that that is an inappropriate use of the term. And, uh, and would challenge anybody who is not a career flyer in this particular arena. They would push back and say, no, those people are not really astronauts. So we can verify that no, according to NASA, Bezos and Branson are not astronauts. I guess it's a matter of semantics and opinion there. So if you're something that you want us to verify, send an email to verify at WCNC.com. Fred?